Hello and welcome to the JVM architecture specification discussion. So this video is all about uh, the JVM architecture. So I have created a simple diagram for the JVM architecture. So the JVM uh, is known as the Java Virtual Machine and uh, earlier, uh, earlier uh, some microsystem a lot of open communities has involved on it. Now it is part of uh, Oracle. So this this, sub, this system is responsible for so many things like uh, uh, executing your Java code to managing the managing all your objects. So typically this uh, system is compromised with a certain subsystem and co-engines, memory mapping, physical memory mapping, virtual memory mapping. We will discuss all about. So we'll start with like uh, it has one subsystem named the class loader, which is responsible for class loading. Okay, which in turn talk to uh, runtime data area or runtime RAM area, which has certain uh, modules in it, like uh, it has a method method area, it has a heap area, it has a stack area, it has a register, it has a native method call area. Okay. So these are the small small subroutine has been divided in this uh, runtime data area and uh, this all talks to execution engine which in turn talks to native inter interface which is responsible for native library. Okay. So overall we will see, uh, we will go each, each uh, subroutine one by one. So. Uh, this is a general overview of how the JVM system is look like. So we'll start with method area first. Okay. Okay. So now we'll see what are the method area. This. Okay. So method area is compromised of these things. Uh, the type information, the constant pool, the field information, the method info, the class variable, the reference to class and method table. Suppose we want to write a method area for a normal uh, Java code like uh, let's say I have a program name hello JVM it has an integer variable and a string variable and a constructor which is uh, initializing these two fields then I have a method called say hello JVM and I am printing system or printing JVM code and the JVM name okay so if you want to draw a method area out of it. So first we have to know what is the type info. So the type info for this program will be uh, what is the name of the class. So the name of the class is uh, hello JVM. Then what is the type of this? It's a Java dot lang dot object. Whether this is a class? Yes, this is a class. So we will say it's true. What is the modifier for this class? So it represents a since it is a class. Uh, it is uh, represented as 4. Uh, next thing come on the method area is a constant pool. Const constant pool is an ordered set of the constants and uh, uh, there is also a reference table to the type fields. So let's say order sets of constant means like uh, within this class I have JVM code, JVM name, then hello JVM, the initializing method, then we say hello JVM method. So, I will draw a symbolic reference to JVM code first. It is an order, order, order form. JVM code, then JVM name, second, then selection of the constructor, then the say hello JVM. So the third area in method area is field information. So field information complies with the, what is the field name, what is the field type, what is the field modifier, and what is the index. So in this hello JVM, I have a JVM code and JVM name. So JVM code is the name of the field, its type is integer, its modifier is 5, it is a type 5, index is 0. Okay. JVM name is my second field information, which type is string and uh, its modifier is 4 because it's a string and index is 1. Okay. So the other information in method area will be captured as method info. So in hello JVM program I have two method, one, one, first one is constructor and second one is hello JVM. So method info will compromise with what is the method name, what is the method result type, 
how many parameters uh, method having, what is the modifier and what are the parameter list. So this constructor has no argument. So I will say name of the constructor is init. My the return type is void. Number of parameter is 0. Modifier is 1. Okay. Similarly, the method name say hello JVM. This method will have return type void. Number of parameter is 0 here. Modifier is 5. Parameter list is empty. Okay. So all the method information, uh, information will be handed in the main table, name uh, method table. Okay, where it will have the reference of the method info table. So method table will handle uh, uh, will handle the all the method information. So this method tail, table is the uh, main main the all the main information. The root the what is the what is the name of the method? What is the index? What is the name of the method? What is the uh, index for? Uh, in method info, it will handle here. Okay. The last information is class variable information in the method area. Uh, since this class doesn't have any uh, class variable, uh, so this class variable will be represented as null. Uh, 